The Pi user as a default is dead. It was killed by product security laws in several countries that forbid default passwords. So how can we deal with it? Gritty YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. There is no more a default username available in the newest version of Raspberry OS, dated the 4th of April. So you have to choose one. How is it done and what are the consequences? When you create a new SD card, the current Raspberry Pi imager offers you the choice to download the newest version. Please do it. You will later see why. After flashing the SD card with the newest OS, you get your ordinary welcome screen on the desktop. The only difference is the second screen is empty. You have to enter a username and a password before you can proceed. They still allow short passwords like Pi or passwords like Raspberry. So if your scripts are hard-coded on a Pi home directory, you are saved, for the moment at least. But maybe you anyway decide to use a better combination. The rest of the setup stays the same. Two tips. With the new version 172, the Raspberry Pi imager finally got the long-expected settings button. No more cryptic key combination is needed. Very good. I recommend using this button to set your user and password before flashing. One word of caution if you set up your Raspberry for headless operation. Adding a WPA supplicant and an SSH file is no more sufficient. Instead, you need to use the settings tab from before or at a userconf.txt file. This file must contain one line with a username and password. The password has to be encrypted. Otherwise, you will be able to connect to the Pi, but no more be able to log in. You can encrypt your password with a Raspberry with this command. And you get the needed long string. We also got the possibility to rename a user on an existing system using this command. After reboot, you get the menu to rename the user on the desktop. But be aware if you run headless and do not use the desktop. If you use this command, the Pi user is no more available after reboot and you might have created a bigger problem. That is all for now. As always, you find all the relevant links in the description. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. Thank you. Bye.